The overall goal of this methodology is to visualize one of the first steps in the activation of initiator caspases. This step is called induced proximity and occurs when caspase molecules come together to form active dimers during apoptotic cell death. This method can help answer key questions in the caspase field, such as when, where, and how efficiently specific initiator caspases can be activated. The main advantage of this technique is that one can visualize the assembly of caspase activation complexes in living cells in real time. This bimolecular fluorescence complementation method uses fragments of the fluorescent protein Venus that have been fused to a caspase. The fragments are not fluorescent on their own, but when the caspase undergoes induced proximity, this brings the two Venus halves together and they light up. To transfect the cells, first add 12 microliters of the transfection reagent to 750 microliters of reduced serum media in a sterile tube. Incubate the mixture at room temperature for 5 minutes. Then, add 10 nanograms of a reporter plasmid to a sterile 1.5 milliliter tube for each well to be transfected. Add 20 nanograms of each caspase BIFC plasmid to each tube. Bring each tube up to a total volume of 100 microliters by adding reduced serum media. Using a P200 pipette, Add 100 microliters of transfection reagent solution to the plasmid mixture in a dropwise manner. After incubating the plasmid transfection reagent mix for 20 minutes at room temperature, aspirate the media from the cells using a pipette or with suction. Then, using a P1000 pipette, pipette 800 microliters of...